News that impacts you and your community. 13 on your side late night starts now. Good evening, I'm Juliette Dragas. We begin tonight with human trafficking in West Michigan. It's where people are forced into labor, services, or sex. An arrest of a local school custodian is putting the problem here in the spotlight. 13 on your side's Micah Cho is here with details. Juliet, that custodian passed a background check to work at the high school, according to a statement released by the district. But some of the experts I talked with tonight told me people committing these types of crimes can slip under the radar. Investigation started with a tip that we received uh, that required us to do a lot of uh, our detectives to do a lot of online searching, a lot of um, online work. A seven month investigation into 47 year old Jeremy Bile, a custodian at Holland High School, leading to multiple charges related to human trafficking. While details on the crimes have not been released, Bile is accused of assisting with commercial sex through multiple social media accounts, posing as a woman online to arrange commercial sex, transporting victims for commercial sex, and profiting from the arrangements. Lieutenant Jason Richards with the Kent County Sheriff's Office says, while the charges can be alarming for parents in the community, there's no indication that Bile's charges relate to the high school. Uh, we received no information so far that anyone associated with the high school is involved, any staff or any teach or any students, and that uh, we received no information that any students uh, were any targets of anything. Our passion is to help everyone in West Michigan circle their own cradle and be there and be a safe place. Rebecca McDonald is the founder and CEO of Women at Risk, an organization and resource that helps people being trafficked across the world, even right here in West Michigan. The news about Blythe, a reminder to McDonald about the constant fight their organization has in helping people recognize the signs of trafficking, which does happen here in West Michigan. 95% of all victims of human trafficking think they know their trafficker. This is not kidnapping. 3% is kidnapping. Lynn Stone with Be A Voice works to educate community members about abuse, including trafficking. Last week, the group held a free showing of the new movie Sound of Freedom, described as a true story about the horrors of child trafficking. While the movie has mixed reviews, she says hearing about Bly's arrest shows why these conversations are important to have. We're concerned. We're concerned for our children. We're concerned for our, ch our neighbors' children. We're concerned for um, our teens that are spending so much time online and meeting who knows who and people are lying and not being who they are. Just One More is another nonprofit organization that helps locate sex trafficking operations. We have information on it and the many other resources here in West Michigan on our website at 13onyourside.com. Juliet. Thank you, Micah.